During COVID, students were attending classes online. Now that we are getting back to normal and attending classes in person, we have asked a few of the NQ film and broadcasting students and lecturers their thoughts on the situation. I think the class have got on and performed really, really well this year. Um, it was tough coming back after the pandemic and obviously trying to socialise with masks on and distancing can be quite tough. So as the year's gone on and restrictions have loosened, I think the class have really bonded and done an excellent job, not just of their work, but also coming together as a little community. I hated teaching with COVID restrictions. Um, it's not an organic process and I think teaching is as much about community and developing personal relationships as it is about um, the actual content of what you're talking about. So it was quite an unpleasant experience, I think, but we got through it and now things are opening up and it seems a lot better. <laughs> I think the students as a collective have done really, really well this year. Um, some students have excelled at the academic work, others at the practical, um, and it's been a really, really good mix. I'm excited about the film festival to see one student above all else um, conquer and they hopefully excel in their future career. We've just recently had Nathan Clark who's won a Television Society Award and he famously won it at the film festival as well so that'll be good to see. With regards to the staff members, we've got a great team on the media department and John Ray, Vincent Mulligan, John McBlain, Colleen Port have all done a fantastic job of getting the students through it and giving them the best experience possible. Um, so uh, it's a great team to be part of, the students have done fantastically, what's not to like about this course and this department. Um, I enjoyed online learning because it meant I didn't have to get the train in the morning. Uh, no, I didn't enjoy online learning because it was just not fun. Uh, I did prefer online le learning a little bit, but it was just because I didn't need to pay to go into the train. No, I didn't actually, um, because I struggle to learn like that, if you know what I mean. Uh, I did not enjoy online learning because it was so boring and I didn't get to meet people in IRL. It was pretty good, I got to wake up at like five minutes before the lecture and then just jump on and be like, oh my webcam's broken because I'm just sitting there in pyjamas. I found working with COVID restrictions um, quite difficult with the social distancing in classes, but now that things have eased, I think it's a lot easier. Um, it's not. It's better than being online, but um, masks were a bit annoying at first, but now that we don't really have masks, it's, 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 it's a bit better. Um, working with COVID restrictions, I don't think, has changed all that much, so it's not that bad. I, I, I just feel like it didn't change, if you know what I mean. Uh, now that I'm back, uh, during the COVID restrictions, I thought it was pretty bad, but now since everything's eased, I think it's much better. Yeah, it was quite annoying because there were like group tasks, but then when you moved near your group, they were like, oh, you can't do that. Um, after this course, I plan to go to university. Uh, so I plan on going to Glasgow, say Glasgow College, to do television HNC. Um, after the course, I'll be doing the HNC course. I'm planning to go on to HNC. If not, I'll probably take a gap year. Uh, my plans after this course is to go into the HNC course. I'm going to do the HNC. Um, overall, I enjoyed the course very much and I would recommend it to anybody with an interest in film. Uh, I did enjoy the course and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that wants to get into the film industry. I did enjoy the course and I'd probably recommend it to anyone who wanted to get into the film industry. I would definitely recommend it. I did enjoy this course and I would 100% recommend it to anyone who wants to go into filming. Yeah, it was pretty good. I'd probably recommend doing like the intro first though, because I feel like you could just get thrown into this. Um, my favourite class was probably the podcast creation because it's something I haven't done before. Uh, I think my favourite class is probably um, probably oh, media. media yeah, that's what I was going to say. Probably media project. Um, my favourite class was probably analysing media content because it was just, there was a lot of things that was brought up that I was interested in. Radio feature production. Um, because I, 
I, I don't have a reason for that, it's just my favourite. <laughs> Uh, my favourite class in this course was probably the podcasting because I got to do what I like. Uh, it was probably the advertising course because I think advertising is kind of cool. My least favourite cra- class was probably animation because I'm not good at art. Uh, oh, what was it? Analyzing media. That was rubbish. Um, my least favourite class was creating media content. Because we've just not got as much as we wanted done. Analyzing media content because I just felt like it was boring, you know. Like my least favorite was probably uh, ammunition because I just couldn't do it at all. Uh, probably media project because the lecturer was John. Colleen. John, obviously. John John Ray, to be specific. Um, my favourite lecturer was pro- probably either Vincent or Richard. Richard, John Ray, John McBlain and Vincent. My favourite lecturer was probably Richard because um, I knew him longer than the rest of them. Uh, everyone but John probably actually. Probably John telling me that he gets bullied by a student. <laughs> I was pretty funny. Like, it's just kind of funny that a big manly man John gets bullied by a small child. <laughs> <laughs>